Hey everybody, it's Mark, uh, Colorado Sasquatch Research. It is November 18th and uh, I'm back in the uh, hot zone today. And uh, I figured today what I was gonna do is check on, uh, as usual, stick around uh, the nest areas, the den areas that we know that they're active. Um, just ran across some new stuff. Of course, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you know, it's a deep, thick forest, so it's always hard to tell, but, uh, you know, I just, I needed a little break for a couple weeks, um, from them, and they, from me, and, uh, so I decided to come out today. It is about 32 degrees right now, very, very chilly. My hands are really suffering. Anyways, so as I started climbing up the side of the mountain here, um, in a route that I found, you know, game kill and so forth. Uh, I found some interesting new tree breaks um, and tree bends. Some really interesting stuff here that, uh, you know, it's kind of cool. Um, the, the reason I like this is if you look at this, for example, this tree or this log that has been laid up against here does not belong to anything around here. It is not part of this pine tree. In fact, it looks like an aspen sapling. Don't know how long this has been sitting here, but as you can see, it's been wedged up in here amongst these other tree breaks and arches. Here's another arch with another log uh, laid up here that doesn't fit into the scenery. Um, so, like I said, it's very hard for me to, uh, you know, I find so much sign like this, so many trees that have been bent, arched, broke, uh, that, uh, you know, recording them all in my brain, it just would take forever. This is a Sasquatch territory, so they leave so much different kinds of sign all the time that, uh, me keeping track of it all is just impossible, but, uh, Anyways, I just came in, started my jaunt up the mountain this morning, and I'm finding lots of sign already. It's always good, I guess, to take kind of a break uh, for a while. Because you come back and, and you're refreshed and your mind has been elsewhere for a while. Um, you know, I was hitting it so hard for a number of weeks trying to get... Uh, you know trying to get a response or whatever um, you lose kind of uh, focus and uh, taking that break and not coming in here for a while has kind of uh, reinvigorated me a little bit so you start noticing some things that uh, you know that in a lot quicker fashion maybe than you would if uh, if I hadn't taken a break Anyways, so we're just going to see what else comes up today and try and keep the uh, talking to a minimum as usual, as much as possible. Uh, feels good to be back. Wow. Everything's really dry. Now that it's November. Again, I, I'm back in always the same area. Um, you know, like I said, there's no real reason for me to go exploring too much. Um, when you have an area that they're marking up, whoa, as heavily, as heavily as this, it's being marked for a reason, see, like this. This is all being done for a reason. Uh, this is their territory. Um, something, it, it means something to them. So I always try and stay, you know, within the same areas while checking out, uh, 
you know, for new things that I haven't seen before. And you always know when things are not natural, when you have access with clean brakes like this. And again, you know, for people that uh, are never sure, you're never going to come across in a Sasquatch territory, Bigfoot territory, and just find like one symbol. There, there's multiples. They always, always leave multiple symbols um, instead of just one. So it's, it's very native in, in how they do that, where they mark an entire area. See this pine tree here? It's still alive. It's pointing directly at the water source. I have a couple here that are pointing right at the water. They've just been bent. It didn't kill the tree. So. Ooh, my hand is really suffering from the cold. My, in my old age, my my digits, my hands really suffer the harsh winters up here in the Rockies anymore. Oh, wow. Whoa, what do we got over here? See more tree bends bent into X's. I just love this area. They, they just do so much. There's just so much to find. I haven't run across any deer or wildlife yet this morning. It's still kind of chilly. Never know what to expect when I've been gone for a couple weeks. See, this is the thing I love about a pine forest is um, even though, you know, it's November now, a lot of things have died. It's always green and thick inside the, uh, inside a pine forest. Gives the best cover. I want to stick to where the sign is. Although I'm generally still finding it, arches and stuff. Look at this huge tree over here has been bent. See, this isn't snowfall. Look at the size of this tree. I mean, look. It's a huge tree. It's been pulled down in, you know, pull down an arch for whatever reason and uh, that isn't snowfall that does it to a young pine tree it's to, for all intents and purposes it's still alive <coughs> huge tree And see, when they pull it down, they use branches from another tree to hold it. But there's no way that snowfall that did that 
That is one big tree. Yikes. It's been uh, forcibly pulled down into an arch. Really frozen. People were starting to wonder if I had just quit. Um, uh, I mean, I'll admit, there's a little bit of burnout that goes on. You know, I'd been hitting it so hard after the nest finds uh, for weeks on end. And, uh, you know, I was just letting a lot of things go. Uh, other priorities in my personal life that uh, finally caught up to me. Um, so, I'm not really giving up. I'm never giving up. Um, it's just... Uh, yeah, I take a little break for a couple weeks here during the winter. fresh too very fresh as you can see grounds torn up something big it was laying up here could have been a big deer a big buck uh, it's hard to say tore the ground up a little bit uh, don't see any uh, deer poop gathering of sticks here this always appears to be small scale again like a juvenile was playing you know making a den a nest although you know it can't fit an eight foot tall uh, giant but you know it's like you know they just start stacking wood there that isn't natural fall um, you know, like like somebody's trying to make a nest, and and what you know, what I've the conclusion I've come up with is it's that's juvenile. It's a little one practicing their uh, den making skills because you know what I've shown and what I found uh, with these dens is they're you know they are on a larger scale uh, for something big. Wow, what the heck! Something's been going on in here. Some kind of big.
I gotta go take a look at this tree over here. This is a trip. I don't think I've seen this tree before. But yeah, this is this is tripped out right here. Look at this arch. <laughs> Another one where other trees and branches have been used to make sure that it's it's held down. But uh check out the way this tree grew. This is a huge tree too. This is a trip right here. Look. It's alive. Huge tree. It got this elbow in it though, somehow comes up boom <laughs> that's very odd you don't see that too much with pine trees you know you look around everything grows straight up <laughs> these gigantic uh, old trees do and then you run across one like this that has this weird elbow S there are some people that other researchers that have attributed that to possibly Sasquatch activity, but um, it kind of goes into the paranormal, how that's done. Um, personally, I think that's just a natural thing that happened to that tree for whatever reason. so quiet out here. Probably because it's so cold. I don't have any birds out yet. This is a nice little open meadowy area that I haven't uh, really looked at before. Your voices. Let me go look at this, because I'm not sure if I inspected that cave. It's kind of hard to tell from a distance. Got my camera strap hooked up on a tree. Yeah.
I may have. Almost look like some bone material for a second. As I get closer to the top of the canyon, as always, <clears throat> I start running across prints of different sort, uh, like I had said in previous videos, up and around the caves. Um, they're usually undefinitive, you know, because of the soil. It's very hard to make a determination if it's, uh, uh, you know, what, it, what made it. It could be large deer, who knows, bear, mountain lion, but the, uh, they are consistent. That's the thing, they are consistent moving always along the canyon wall. Look at that cave, I don't know. And always, you know, as I start climbing, I start running into them, so it's one of those things that I can always count on. Uh, Marking over here, I want to look at, but I want to see if I recognize. Any of these. I don't don't really recognize that too much. Something's been moving through here. Whoa. Got here. Yikes, look at this. What is this all about, guys? break though a couple of them see these logs see this here's the big stump it's been uprooted dropped down but you have several uh, sticks like see I can just move this with my foot it has no relation to this trees whatever was being done here at all another big lean there Crazy uh, alphabet soup. Okay, uh, short segment. We're gonna stop right here and then uh, we'll start another one here shortly. Uh, but that's gonna be it for November 18th. Just an overview as we climbed up the mountain and started our uh, a recheck of the area. So hopefully we run across something neat today. There'll be a couple different segments that I'll have uh, coming out. So, but that'll be it for a segment one.